Hello! Uh, I'll show here uh, basically how to do the uh, fake uh, spawning of units, which is uh, teleporting, and the bugs that are related to it. Uh, so I have this little uh, scenario uh, with a few tests. Um, so we can start with uh, this, uh, uh, this destroyer here. Uh, which is set as uh, neutral um, and uh, we will teleport it to this area here and uh, change uh, its color to uh, red at first okay so here I have uh, how do you do it so you have a, a unit it can be any color uh, so you have a group not necessarily a unit, you can uh, teleport everything. And uh, then you have to set a trigger. So here I have an example uh, of the teleport destroyer. So let's turn that on. I think that something else was turned. Yes, so now we have teleport destroyer. Uh, this is just a trigger that needs a condition, any condition you want. Uh, in this case, it's just a timer of 10 seconds from the start uh, of the scenario. So 10 seconds after, it will trigger, and uh, what uh, will it do? Well, first uh, I put a message just telling us, uh, oh, we, I triggered, I'm uh, teleporting. And then you have to set uh, the position uh, to teleport to. So you have to check this teleport to position, and then you add a trigger position which is this area here so you click here you click on the map choose uh, 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 an area to, to, to do the teleporting and uh, you can also change the size of this uh, area right the other thing that you can do sim simultaneously is uh, so uh, this is uh, what will be transported uh, which uh, is what uh, is called action units, so you have to set it as well. So you have here, uh, you choose like the group, which is this, and then you choose here, add, it will show up here as an action unit, yeah? And you can add as many as you want, right? So I have the unit set, the position set, the trigger is set, and also have an extra message. So uh, when this triggers, this thing here will uh, be uh, teleported here. Another thing that you can do is change the color. So now it's neutral, it's green. So yeah, it's called task force swap. So uh, I will be changing sides from uh, neutral to an ally, which is blue in this case, okay? Uh, there are some bugs relating to this uh, swap that I'll discuss later. So now it's just the basics, so uh, let's say this, okay, and let's play. So here I have this little boat, and uh, you cannot see the destroyer because it's neutral teleporting destroyer so it should show Hail up around air. here contact detected oh okay. it didn't show up that's because of a bug because it is there see it shows here but what happens is that it's invisible so if you try to change color from uh, uh, neutral to blue it will create this invisible unit and it's still on the surface, I can click on it, I can change Turn the direction, course, two, it will change, eight, four, but uh, you cannot see it, which is funny. Okay, so let's go back. And now I'll just change it instead of going to uh, uh, an ally, it will come as an enemy. Uh, teleport destroyer. So I just want to change this uh, swap, so from blue to red. Uh, save it. Okay, and then play. You see that it, th in this case there is no problem, so uh, <laughs> this little boat will get a little, well, a big surprise. 
So I cannot see the destroyer because it's a, a, a neutral. And now it will teleport around here as an enemy. Seven, zero, and you can see zero, it. One is classified. So I can uh, click on it, fine. So I can fire on it Engaging if I can die before. Seven, zero, zero, one, so that's it, fire. I'm dead. But it works, right? And if you do also blue to blue or red to red, there is no problem. And also you can do red to blue. So let's change uh, this from uh, red. It's now red. And uh, it will be uh, teleported as a blue unit. Okay, let's see how that works. Now it's a red unit, I cannot see either. And now it's a blue unit. New air, contact faded. Track. And it's invisible. Air, I... Contact faded. Track. Well, now it's still invisible. So yeah, we have a problem there too. Okay, so uh, we saw the destroyer, uh, which has no problem with ground at altitude because it's all sea level, right? And now let's go for, I will disable this, I will enable this trigger for a T-55 uh, teleportation. And I'll disable that uh, destroyer trigger, so uh, it won't uh, be an issue. Okay, so now I have this uh, T-55 uh, that I want to teleport. So let's first change it to uh, blue. Okay, so it starts blue and I'll teleport it as blue as well. So teleport uh, T-55. It's uh, the same thing, I have a message, uh, I have the swap that will uh, make it stay blue. I have a new position, which is this, oh, sorry. A new position, which is this uh, teleport position for, for the T-55 here. Yeah, you can see I can change the size. And uh, that's it, so we can save. And one thing to note is that, uh, oh, I, I want to do this first, so I will stop uh, the T-55. So I'll stop, it's not moving, right? So that will create another bug. Uh, so let's say this, and uh, let's see how it works. So I have my T-55 here, teleporting T-55, look, where is it? It's at sea level, below ground level, which is funny. But the thing is that this is, if it's your unit, it's recoverable, because the moment it starts to move, it goes to ground level. If this uh, were a red unit, then you're in trouble because it can attack you. You cannot see it because it's below the ground. So uh, a way to go to minimize this problem is just to start with a moving because this will be like far away from the theater uh, so that you cannot detect them uh, even if they are uh, neutral or enemy right uh, but you can make it start running so let's put it uh, ahead one third save this and run the same teleportation and here you can see what happens 
So it's moving, teleporting, it goes straight to uh, ground level and starts, stops moving. But this works fine. Okay? And I have the same problem with the change, uh, the color change. So let's start with this as uh, uh, T55 uh, neutral and try to do it. Uh, let's uh, try to do it uh, as a blue. So let's play. So now I don't see it because it's neutral now, teleporting. Boom, it's there. It's hard to click because for some reason at the center of the uh, area you cannot click. But you can click here. Oh, where is it? You can make it move so you have the same problem as uh, the one in the destroyer. If you try to change color from neutral to blue, basically everything to blue doesn't work. It gives you invisible units. For some reason, right? Okay, so uh, you can do to red, the, it works, you can do red to red, you can do blue to blue. Uh, blue to blue is not really nice because uh, if it's going to mimic like spawning, you shouldn't see the, the, the unit beforehand. But uh, even uh, though, even you can put it on the other side of the world, uh, you can still see it in your list, so it's not really invisible. Uh, but uh, I think that's the best we can do right now. So now let's talk about airplanes. So now I will disable this uh, T-55 teleportation and enable the uh, F-14 teleportation. So I have a group which is a single F-14 that's set to neutral. Uh, let's first set it to blue so that we can see it. Uh, to see what actually happens. So I'll save it and let's uh, play that. So let's go for my F-14 at 10,000 feet. Okay, teleporting. Boom! Because it goes to sea level, it crashes. So, uh, and the thing is, uh, in the editor, there is no way you can change uh, the altitude of the teleport. But you can do it uh, in the uh, ini file. And that's what I'll show you now. So, this is the ini file. Uh, you, you have here the trigger, which is the F-14 teleport. And you can see here the action position, 5.58 nautical uh, miles, zero, this is the altitude, uh, and this. And uh, here you can change it. Uh, so let's put 1.63, I think that's around 10,000 feet. I'll save it. And let's go back. So now I have to exit here and I'll have to reload the scenario to get the changes and let's uh, then run it again. So now I, I, I changed the altitude of uh, this area basically. So I have my F-14. So it teleported to the same altitude because like I, I set at uh, 10,000 feet. You can see now it's in the correct uh, uh, region after the teleport. So you need to edit the ini file in order to teleport uh, uh, aircraft. That's what I did uh, in my scenarios because like I have uh, uh, spawning or teleporting of enemies uh, that follow some triggers uh, in, 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 uh, in the mission. So that's it. 
I think uh, that's all. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, I, I think this will be fixed pretty quickly. And uh, another thing that I, I, I think it's that there's too little that we can do. Like, uh, okay, victory, a message, change sides, uh, teleport to a position. And that's all. Like, I want to change direction. Uh, I, I want to change uh, um, stance. Uh, I want to change MCOM. I want to be able to change several characteristics of the units. Uh, I think that uh, is required to do a, a more uh, deep mission. Like, uh, so we need more. Uh, this will be fixed quite soon, I expect. So, uh, but we still need more things we can do with the units. Like, oh, I want uh, you to, if this happens, I want you to attack that specific unit uh, of the enemy or so on. So that's it. Thank you very much.